Good morning, good morning. It's early morning in Perth. We're here in the city and today I was thinking we'd go to the hills and do some riding but I'm loving these exploring the bike paths and we've been along the river and then Randall was saying we could go along the coast. I'm like let's do that. We're going to go along the coast and then catch a train back. So I'm going to let him explain that to you because he's saying we're going to go here and here and I'm like um you say that. You say that. So here let Randall say and this is actually my last day riding in Perth so yeah. Hopefully the sun comes out. Thank you! <laughs> that was cool. Did you hear that? Like, Enjoy it! <laughs> I love that. Everyone's so friendly. Okay, Randall's going to explain, explain what's going on. Okay, well, we're just going to go to the bike path across the road near the train station. We'll ride that all the way into Subiaco and then we'll go to Rearbold Hill where Serafina can do a few rides up the hill to wear herself out. Then we'll head to City Beach, which is a nice beach, and then we'll just ride straight up the coast to Hillary's Boat Harbour. And you were saying that you can, um, along the coast, so you can just ride along the coast and we'll see this, but then you can catch a train back along it. Any yeah, point. pretty much any point along the coast, you just got to ride inland about three or four k's and there's a train station along the freeway and you can catch the train back. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Bikes only. And look, look how wide it is and the colour of it and there's two lanes and it's very clearly a bike path, there's heaps of space. I love it, this is so impressive. And we just follow this. It's amazing. Brenda was just saying, actually this bike path here, if you follow this one here, it's, you can see it goes over where that guy's going over there. You can follow that all the way to Fremantle. So the one that we did yesterday on the, along the river was a scenic route. Uh, and there's one that just takes you, you know, through the city um, and just stay on that bike path apparently all the way to Fremantle. It was a really nice climb up there and um yeah Randall's onto it now he's like okay first things first we've got to get a climb for Serafina then she'll calm down and we can then just ride along the coast I'm like yes <laughs> that was good that was really good now the way for Randall he's lost me I'm over here <laughs> he didn't see me <laughs> uh, is that where we're going up there No, it's all good. It's all good. You're not allowed to ride your bike up here. You're not allowed to? It's not far. I'm not walking by any time. Hi. You can't see it. There's Perth over there.
Is this a point to go down and do it again? Yep. I've never seen so many surfers. I've never seen so many surfers. Hello. So uh, the whole way along here, there's just the, the ocean is just dotted with all of these black, like like seals in the ocean, but they're surfers. <laughs> Sand and all my shoes, but it's worth it. Oh my goodness, look at that ocean. <laughs> You're like a two year old out there. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. We stopped here to have a, a coffee up here and while we were there there was this all these cyclists sitting at that and I'm like who are they and so I found out and I want to introduce you to them because this is the over 55 cycling club here in Perth and it's amazing this is what yeah so you should join it if you're here in Perth and you're over 55 um, but I'll let them Dino Dino, yeah. Dino, do the talking, yeah. So. Hi guys, it's Perth's uh, largest cycling club. We've got over 350 members. We cover uh, men and women, very social. There's all divisions, uh, cover any level of um, fitness. So anyone is uh, more than welcome. We have some lovely rides and uh, drink some nice coffee. 55's top group here. <laughs> so, <laughs> elite, the elite <laughs> cyclists. Probably, probably mentioned they have like about seven different groups, so there's different speeds. There's different speeds to cater for uh, different wants and likes. So, um, uh, like for example, we're the twos, and then we have an average speed of, of whatever, and, and so it goes down. As and, you know. and we never leave anyone behind, so that's yeah. important. 
We have a lot of social days. The club organises uh, barbecues and there's group rides to the hills where we have barbecues. We go on uh, three or four camps a year. So um, the social side of the club is very active. So um, come along and have some fun. All right, and now we're going to talk to Randall because Randall has been so generous showing me around um, Perth these last few days and he's actually, and I've said to him, can you talk about what you do? Because he's got a little bit of a, a YouTube channel and I'm like, you need to get that YouTube channel I mean, you can see me, yeah, up and running a bit more. So <laughs> I'm, um, I said, right, I'm going to give Randall, you're going to get a plague and we need him to talk about it. So, Randall. Yep. What do you do? <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, I'm in the Cycle Touring Association of Western Australia, which are a uh, cycle touring club. They're a volunteer non-profit, and we organise rides and everything like that. I'm the person that does the editing on the actual newsletter, so keeps uh, current sort of topics and, and print and sends out a copy to all the uh, membership and that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And what's the name of your channel? Uh, my channel is Randall's Cycle Vlogs Perth WA. Okay guys, that is it. That is the end of my cycling journey in Perth. Because I'm here in the train station, we just got off the train. And now Randall is going to go that way. I'm going to go that way to the hotel. Randall, so a big thank you to Randall for showing me around um, Perth. I've had an amazing time. <laughs> See ya.